Hi, Assalamualaikum. I am Nurin Zahira. So, I am going to talk about healing and injuring. So, the topic that I have chosen from the internet is getting medical and health insurance OMHI in Malaysia. So, basically, it is about the factors that will help you identify the best MHR that suit people needs. So, I'm going to briefly explain about what is medical and health insurance. It is generally designed to cover costs of private medical treatment such as hospitalization and healthcare services when we are diagnosed with covered illness or when we had an accident. The coverage is provided by a licensed insurance company in exchange for which we pay premiums. So either the insured pay costs out of pocket and receive reimbursement or the insurer makes payment directly to the provider such as clinical, clinic, hospital or doctor that depends on the type of health insurance coverage. So a little, a little sneak peek what you need to know um, about in medical insurance in Malaysia is even though government has invested a significant investment on healthcare facility for the riot, but still the Malaysian are still prefer to get their treatment from a private hospital instead of public hospital. Since the rise of medical inflation, it is clear cut that private medical treatment is becoming luxury that only few people can afford it. So it is crucial for us people to get the medical and health insurance for the future. So let's proceed to the main point of this presentation is how to pick the best medical and health insurance in Malaysia. The first point is to identify the type of medical insurance. There are three types of medical insurance. The first one is hospitalization and surgical insurance, which is covered hospital and surgical expenses incurred by specified disease. The second one is drug disease or critical illness insurance. It provides lump sum benefit upon diagnosis of any of the 36 drug illnesses or diseases. Third one is long term care insurance, coverage for long term care such as home care, assisted living, adult day care, respite care, hospice care, nursing home, and Alzheimer facilities. So basically, if you want to look for the best coverage, it is better to have, to have all these three types of medical insurance. But if you want to have a, um, a premium at the lowest, you can opt for only medical card which cover only hospitalization and surgical insurance, including emergency. The second point is the premium. Most of people make mistakes by solely buy medical insurance based on the premium. They forget it is more important to get coverage within the premium that you pay. You need to prioritize your need when, is that when deciding on buying the medical insurance. Just because you afford to pay for the premium doesn't mean you need to have that much need of coverage. The third is the coverage. Some of the things you should look up are the room and board limit, annual limit and lifetime limit. Something came with a rider plan, plan that lets you waive annual limit so you don't have to worry about. So you don't have to worry while you are down or up. It's also crucial to consider outpatient treatment before and after hospitalization with a pre or post hospitalization outpatient coverage. You will have to take out your money from your own pocket. The next point is panel hospital and reimbursement. It is meaningless if you have insurance but you do but the hospital network is not easily accessible to you. If insurer has direct connection with the hospital, you can opt out. For cashless treatment facility, depends on the plan. Or simply say, 
the claim will be directly settled by the insurance company. So in a nutshell, we look for the insurance company that offer cashless facility or check if the hospital are in the insurance network. Last but not least, is other factor that is important thing you should check in your that you should check in in your insurance policy, which are first one is us insurance agent to look out for the important points in the policy. So the first one is co insurance, which is the percentage of the cost of your medical care that you have to pay. You should consider plans with co insurance if you want to get for the lower premium. The next one is deductible. It is based on the set minimum amount that must be paid for all covered treatments before the insurer will begin to cover all subsequent expenses for treatment. And the last one is guaranteed renewal. It is advisable for the insurer that is 50 years old and above to opt for MHI or medical insurance policy that provide guaranteed renewal. Though guaranteed renewal is subject to the terms and conditions specified in the policy, it ensures protection is available throughout despite recent diagnosis or of illness. So in a conclusion, it is crucial to pick the best medical and health insurance. It is not just about the premium but what do you get after that. Basically, go and get an insurance that not only adequate but also promptly deliver a hard care that you require and when your need is arises. So do spend some time on research about insurance policy and compare and choose medical health and insurance that give you the best value. That's all from me. Thank you.